Let's go. Let's go. So, you got some your Masha here playing on Great Plains as China. Pu Kong. Oh. Pu Kong. Interesting name. We got our little goat in there. We do our have our disciples trying to get some of that um, map visibility. We do encounter here 30 foot treasure, pretty good for China. And on the north side of the map, you got pistol pip playing the Brits. Uh, we oh, have market. a market opening with Brits. You don't see that very often. I think you're going to yeah. see some early hunting dogs. I don't yes. hate this. Actually, I think this is good. Yeah. Yeah, it comes down to preference, right? Um, right. Also, um, um, I, I don't know about this matchup. I think it's Brits favored to some point. Um, but yeah, it is blind picks right on game one. Yeah. Um, you might get unlucky on that. <laughs> uh, China is quite popular on the Great Plains, right? In this tournament so far. Brits as well. Brits, we have seen a lot yeah, of Brits, Brits and, well. into this map. We do have a yeah, lot of Brits food. Is, um, it makes yeah, sense. Brits is, uh, it's it's a very popular civilization on the lower elos. People like it's a, it's a fun and easy safe to learn and play. So here we see puts on um, taking um, a treasure, the Chinese explorer. Um, and also, yeah. I think on the lower brackets, people are very hesitant to attack. Like, or either you rush, 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 or you stay in your base, stay in your base, stay in your base. And uh, and and I think for most of those games that people tend to stay in their bases, unless they're playing like a civilization that does rush. Therefore, if you play like Brits and you manage to get a bunch of views, you just scale better. Because that's exactly like what Brits needs. It needs time to breathe. And once you get that, you get just critical masses of military, you got a good economy. And um, what happens with Brits, they lose most of the time. They just, they just get early pressure and they, they, they crumble. But um, Or you just have yeah. A, yeah, some sort of timing with some age 3 strong push. Where the, the, the longer the game goes, if a Brits manage to scale better, with it normally scales better with the more villagers. So, so that's what I think why you see. And also in this map, I think there's a lot of consumption of food with the Brits because you got so many villagers, so you, they just they devour all the, the, the hunts in the map. And having bisons everywhere, it, it, it's, it's just a just a good British deck, uh, map. So you got another 35 coin here for Sun Girl Marshall. Ching Cha Min Le. Ching Cha Min Le. Ching Cha Min Le. Yeah. Um... More or less than said he's practicing another civilization for round two. I, I hope it, it, it isn't like a double church Malta. Mm. He's going to bring on round two. Okay, oh, you got a monastery yeah. here being dropped. That's oh. different. And with this Russian consulate, so we, we had the tea export opening. <laughs> Gave it away. <laughs> Good faith agreements. <laughs> No, no, please do not do not go for double double church, please. The curse double church. Saying how say is S tier Ethiopia trash. Mm. Summer I, palace. I think Ethiopia Ethiopia is not uh, as good as Hausa, but trash is a. I have to use that word uh, very carefully to describe things. Oh. Okay, Morrison. If you if you win with that build, I I I accept it. I I change my mind. Ethiopia's garbage. I don't think Ethiopia's that that bad. So you got end up with the governor getting the outpost, the two hundred coin, right in the base. But the Chinese explorer is gonna get a thirty percent increase in HP here. So we're gonna see yeah. from four fifty to five hundred eighty five. And we are aging up here at the Summer Palace. We're well, gonna have a finally an encounter here of the Explorers. Um, but Pukong decides to ignore his opponent. Uh, are you gonna be? I I I don't know how what, how much is this 150 wood he spent on this money? No, it is 200. It is 200. 200? It's better to yeah. It's better to to build a TP. Mama. It, it is basically the same logic of the um, 
Kurt, right? It gives you some XP, but it's more expensive, so it's better to build a TP. But he might do some um, mercenaries because that's the way you get mercenaries with um, uh, Asian civilizations, right? But I don't think. I, I have no idea why he sent that. Flame for Castle Rickshaw. That's a very intriguing shipment as well. Uh, maybe you're gonna be good to handle the expected musketeer start from Pito, but he's not seen that at all. We have not yeah. scouted properly, we have a stable, so the flamethrower might have been cancelled. And we have that cancelled, and we're going for 700 coin. Great decision right um, there. Great decision he's right there. Up, yes. Looking at the, the stable, changing his plan, I love it. I love it, decision to change that. Yeah, the... Um, 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 yeah, I think yeah he's going to age up, sending 700 point, um, killing some views. We have to see what a uh, bridge is going to to do, right? Yeah, um, I I just don't, I'm not very happy with this with the herding from China. Um, I'm so scared when I play against Brits, but I, I think he'll be okay to the age up at least, and then he can do Chang Dao yeah. later on. So it will still be fine. He can also hide on the blockhouse, so he decides to go for the town center instead. Uh, now we have 17 villagers stuck in there. Um, but we're getting shot from Is he blockhouses. Going for uh, could you see the, the Chinese deck, please? Uh, the Chinese deck, please. please uh... Okay, okay, I'm, I'm watching on this thing, sorry. Um, yeah, this isn't a, a mercenary deck. This looks like a normal deck. It even has tournament on it. So I expect some Chinese FF here. Not not exactly an FF because it's, at this point it's quite late, right? But I don't know. I don't know what to expect here. So he, he's he, almost he's losing in a whole batch of it. Like you having our Hussar is on constant fire. He doesn't want him to gather that coin. But is it really worth it? Like this Hussar is so expensive. You gotta have to be making like a bunch of Hussars to keep in withstanding a blockhouse and a town center fire at the same time but um if idling is what he's wanted to do he's definitely accomplished that because we do have 18 villagers stuck on the town center uh yeah, and it's, not it's not doing a very good job either you, you need to move out these units he's just gonna lose those no oh, that's our okay. batch that's that's gonna hurt is that we, we already lost like um i don't know eight hussars has some troops now the town center is not focusing on that hazard with low hp but those Jokunu are, and he's gonna take the full batch and three Hussars. Uh, that's, that's so expensive units to be wasted in the, the, the Japanese tower like that. This this age up is basically a minute uh, late, but PSOP doesn't really have an economy behind this. I'm, I'm starting to get worried about uh, PSOP's position. 28. Yeah, well, you're overgathering food here, doesn't really have a um, midterm plan, I think, like sending six musks. This push, I, 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 like, we cannot call this an all-in, but it is a pretty huge commitment. Oh, the wonder on, on the front of the base, this is really on. And also, this is um, Porcelain Tower, like, like, almost some sort of disrespect for Aja at this point. Because the, the British player is playing aggressively, like, you don't, you don't want to, to age up uh, right on the front of your base, right? You want to hide it, at least. At least try to hide it or make it a little bit difficult for the uh, British player to challenge it. There you go. We got some disciples as well. And I, I, yeah. he's, 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 he's macroing better now. We only think villages in the town center, but uh, we still have 11 villages in the blockhouse. We need to sort of manage to put them right in front of everything. But now he's in trouble. He, he's going to idle for yeah. quite, quite a long time. Uh, and um, that's going to be scary for you. If I'm, oh, if I'm China here, I, I would be very scary right now this is a very good mass after losing a bunch a bunch of hussars we're still losing mass over mass here uh but the age up is still progressing that's the uh, still going on uh we're finally taking those villagers out of that blockhouse yeah i'm i'm just curious about how doesn't reach have that a better economy yeah okay now he might be, he might have been training some hussars yeah the hussars are coming so yeah, Brits is um fine position here. Yeah, he's, he's like, chilling. He's on Marshall is bills. going to hit H3, right? He's going to, to, to reach H3. Oh, that, 
A hundred percent. But like with with an eco economic wonder, so he he's not going to have the you know, Akabuser uh, pop, which usually helps China a lot. But yeah, Ch uh, um, British is sending spice trade, is chilling and making more, um, investing more into the economy. But yeah, I'm really worried about China now. Sh sending some Changdao, which could uh, do some work, like depending on how they pop. He also uh, has a lot of export, and I don't think he has chosen yet. Uh, oh, he has the Russian. He, cho but, uh, he has chosen. He, has um, his changed? British. Yeah, he, he, he changed chose. I, I, I saw it. He needs yeah. to send those Marines at the same time as the Changdao. Yeah, that would be an awesome pop. I think now. Plus minute man at the same time. That would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. Just go. Uh, he's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. Yeah, just the Shangdao aren't gonna help that much. I think. Not, yeah, too many musks. And the cab has been sent. The okay, the pop. Has been sent to the pop. So the musketeers oh, he forgot, gonna do great. He but even with the musketeers, they got Shangdao's gonna be able to clean this H2 musketeers for sure. Plus yeah, but, all those spikes uh, on top of that. But the cab comes now like to do. He fixed it. I think he Pito Pit has to back here with the cab. The cab is too expensive. Uh, that, there we go. At least you lose only musketeers. Uh, we have 20 villagers though. We, we, we are being idling for quite a long time. And uh, like we have over to. Over five minutes idling. <laughs> well, yeah, but that's quite right? a lot. Especially yeah. when your opponent, like. Is... But I don't know. Uh, we have 34 villagers, but we do we have sent already the coin back to back here. He's gathering the last bunch of coins. That's if he doesn't age up now, then it's gonna be really hard for him to age up later. Is he gonna yeah. overcommit with more hussars? I think he will. I think he's definitely wants to keep on ace two. Um and he says his spice trade, which is that's gonna help his economy quite considerably, which I like. And now yes. yeah. I mean I don't hate it. Uh, I just, I, I'm just a bit worried about his age up at some point, because he might just get killed uh, out by I China. He, he can stay on H2 as long as he doesn't go like overly defensive, right? He, he, he must go for like, uh, like 25 musketeers, wait for some pops, and then push again. Yeah, I like this. He's just too low on musketeers. I think he should uh, go for a second barracks. Because, like, if Young Marshall sends, like, Manchu, yeah, th this army beats all of these cavalry. Mm, but not, not enough mass. There's a lot of size over here. Yeah, but the, all, but, of, all of it is anti cav. Right, but it, so that's why he, on the bad position, yeah. you don't want to take that. Yeah, China might, might overgrow here. Like, they, they might um, outscale, I think, on, on units, grids. Like, they, they're just going to send on the, a lot of shipments. From from this point on, yeah, just send the Hakabusias, the five um, meteor hammers. Yeah, so just wait. Like if if they if they go for Manchu, I think it's all of the pistol peach cavalry is going to be useless. He has so much export just as well. Gather a lot of coins and Manchu. I think he's waiting for. I mean, I don't think he, he knows, but he can send the the red coats again and. Um, I would definitely not use oh, this. Export. Oh, he sent the intervention. No, he's, he's sending now. He sent the intervention. Oh, he's waiting for the Falcon. Oh, this is going to be strong. This is going to be a strong push. Yeah. Oh, I think China might take this, honestly. He has a 15 this is such a powerful push. He has nine yeah. red codes. He's going to send more red codes. He already had now 15 Harkibus. This is going to be a very strong push. And I would have waited. I'm, yeah. I, might, I might even wait here for another this, this, this units before I leave my base, to be honest. I would I wouldn't want to be oh, running away from uh from that bunch of hussars that <laughs> the pistol pit oh, had. Oh god, he he might he might win this depending on him on how the micro goes. This is would, such a powerful army. I would I would wait for the five meteor hammers before I go. Um, yeah, I, you have to go now. This is the timing. Like the, the longer it goes, uh, um, the, the right. better for bridge to to remass. Yeah, this is the timing. Let's watch the micro. Oh god, pistol pit cannot defend this. He cannot defend this. Unless like uh, he's Sir going Marshall in, he's going does in. a huge blunder. He needs oh, no, to, he needs no, to no, 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 lose the Falconet. No, no. Okay, good, 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 good. But the Falconet are shooting Even at though the, the Falconet is focusing in the, the Hussars. Yeah, oh, nice. he cannot defend this. 
Very good can. micro from Sir Young Marshall. Very good micro. Perfect defense on the Falcon S. So yeah, he, he cleans this. He cleans this. 100%. The, the Haki builds it alone. Uh, and once yeah, the very good unit control the... from... Ooh. Honestly, from, from both players. Like, both players played like... As expected on unit control, it's, it's just that um, Pistol Speed Army is unable to beat this army from So Young Marshall. Marshall. Yeah, um, another very big raid. Good, very good fight we had. Another big raid from Community Age of Empires 3. Thanks, buddies. Gracias, Welcome, everybody. Gracias, comunidad. Gracias for the raid. Bienvenidos. Spanish yeah. community, yes, yeah, see. Sí. Hola, hola. Oh, hola, you got hola. a one tier bit coming happy. We like it. So we get a. This is the first series uh, between these two gentlemen, Sanger Marsh and Pistol Pit on the great place. Very good game. Very and good we game. see some very good pressure here from China. Uh, now I don't think uh, there's anything else that he can. Even though we have so many villages, but uh, we manage. We are. You're being sort of spooked away from those hunts, and then we have been moved into to coin. We finally reached the the hunt here on the other side of the map, but now our base has been sieged. We're losing like military power. We do not have a mass to contest this. We only have four longbows, and our second barracks is gonna go down. After that, we're gonna start having a massive struggle to to combat this. And I, I think he he can age on the back of this. But isn't it just just too late now? No, it's, gonna... the game is over. Like oh, once yeah. China gets a good fight like that, it is over. Piece of cannot cannot recover from this. Yeah. Especially on H two. Oh, it's he's, impossible he, to recover he, from. He sent intervention. Yeah, he sent it like way before, like before the the cannons. It was like uh, his second card on H three. So yeah, this is over. Uh, yeah. P there's nothing Piece of can can do here. Hundred percent. Especially the meteor hammers in the field now. Yeah. We this was basically a, a build order loss from Crystal Pete. He like he didn't pressure China enough on H2, and eventually when they get this bigger mass, it's and and wins a fight, it's it's over. That, that's basically how China works. So if you allow them to to win a fight like that, it's you cannot recover from it. Like you can see the economy, like Pistol Peter has a way better economy. I like can you how he's, the villages? I like how he started, but um thirty two. Yeah, thirty two, yeah, okay. Don economy wise they might be no okay, Pistol Pit is still ahead. But yeah, money shoes and this is you, you cannot come back from this. Yeah, I think he overdid on the Hussars. You need more musketeers. Yeah. The strong musketeers that British have. We needed see siege, more siege power. We could have taken out the villas, and that uh, would have been much harder to. It's oh, some to. some raid going on. Yeah, he, he got like two villas, two or three villas. Okay, but I don't think it matters anyways. Uh, Pistol Pete is just digesting yeah. the loss. If he finds <laughs> this, this is over. If... Yeah, he's just hunting for for villas. Yeah, yeah Bridge is just, uh, just di digesting the loss. It happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Manchu on the field. Ooh, bye bye, Kassars. Yeah, once China sends Manchu, you're not allowed to use cavalry anymore. Yeah. It is the ultimate cavalry counter. <laughs> He's sieging the houses, heavy cavalry. Right? Yeah. We well, you, oh. you only have only have. Commandment. Eighteen villages here. Yeah. Oh, we got some Apache been sent. Uh, do we have an outpost somewhere? No, he's going to sandwich a pistol pit here. Maybe the, uh, the longbows can kill the man shoots. Uh, you should avoid this fight. You still have the falconet and everything. It's too much. Yeah, even the falconet is still alive. I think it's full HP. Still. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, almost full HP. Chang Dao managed to connect now, taking the snare. 
And uh, you, you just can't kite with crossbows. It's just, um... No, do not focus, focus the, the villagers. Go for the longbowmen. At this point, everything works. Yeah, you don't even need to micro this. Just yeah. say move through this. I see the Apache trying to kill the Falcon, <laughs> but I don't think it matters. That's yeah, watch this. Like, China remass is just insane. <laughs> Well, he has been. He still has an economy behind all of this. So. GGs, GGs, GG. I'm not saying that I'm playing lame sieves, but I am. <laughs> yeah, Let's go. This is the, this is the popular matchup. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so sung your match for now. Managed to switch to USA. Uh, so, it's just, that's an interesting mm. matchup. I think this is just. I think some people might my tier list is still sieves as uh, one of the best sieves in the game right now, but uh, there's a little tendency to favor more USA to be on the top of that list. Um, yeah, USA. There's no discussion about USA anymore. Like, I don't. I don't think there is anyone that disagrees on USA being the best sieve in the game. Also, uh, you. There are some disagreements, but USA. I, I think it's um, unanimous. Animus Vox. Yeah. An Animus. So you got Dauda Abashama and Nathaniel Green. So using the ability here, but Sangir Marshall wants to steal that treasure, but maybe not. Maybe he doesn't want to steal it at all. Don't know why. Uh, what do you get here? You got uh, a trapped native Nuchka. warrior. Is that a Nutka? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah it is a Nutka. That's a pretty good treasure. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, from this matchup, we uh, like I expect to see some any H two aggression from Pistol Pete and an FF from Sir Young Marshall. But uh, Young Marshall could also do the German immigrants build, so we we have to check on his deck, see what is his plan. Please watch the both of the players deck, please, Governor. One sec, I just want to see who's gonna take this treasure. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. So yeah, this is an FF deck. Uh, we see capitalism and the Spanish immigrants, which I've seen Lion Hearts do this FF many times. So yeah, this is an FF deck. We we're going to see some FF, uh, maybe with some musketeers and upgrades like Gatling musketeers timing. Open market. Also, I I like it. I like oh market. Yeah, you usually don't want that, but uh. yeah. I guess he just has the extra resources to say why not, and maybe he got hunting dogs. Orders? He did, yeah. And that's fair. No, he didn't. He didn't. No? Oh, they no, got ninety-two, he's, he's right? On a yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. So we do have the hundred thirty XP over here and um, ninety-four over there. Uh, na orders? Now we might see some some fight over this. Um, I don't think he sees the uh, USA Explorer now. He does. <laughs> okay, let's see. So you gotta take this. I, I think I think House takes it. Oh no, he did. Oh, oh. Now he does. Now he does. Okay, he does. All but right, he's so... delaying his age up. Okay, he's aging up now. Song, <laughs> song guy age up. Yeah, so you want to um, split your villages into wood and coin now. And he's missing this by quite a lot. No, I don't think so he's going to do the universe thing. So it oh, makes no going, sense he, he, when some guy. Oh, he is, he is. Yeah, 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 this is the actually a very good uh, split for him. Because he already has a lot of coin. So he only needs uh, single villagers to gather the coin. Very good from Pistol Pete and a lot of villagers on wood. Even though he, he went late uh, to, to split his villagers, I think he, he did a good job. So yeah, Pistol Pete, we can clearly see he's a house player. He knows what he's doing. And I expect uh, that he's, uh, he might be the first house player to actually do yes. the song I build in the tournament. No idea. Yeah. No, oh yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. Okay, so yeah, getting the Dutch immigrants. Um, I don't know, a bit slow. Um, against against Adin's house, uh, not the greatest idea. It's a bit too yeah, slow. Yeah, you can actually go for this. Like uh, nowadays, um, the thing is, nowadays you go for the Pennsylvania uh, church, which gives you the same as uh, Dutch immigrants, which is a bank, a trickle, right from the, from the church. But it also gives you the possibility of um, researching two texts that gives you skirms and goons. So yeah, he's building a stable, which is what you want to do on this scenario. And the bank wagon, I like. I I cannot say I disagree with this, but it, it is a matter of style. So since he sent a bank wagon, he's not going to send the church from Pennsylvania. Uh, what is the job op option, please? I want to see Cabana from USA. Watch the, the deck. Yeah, the sorry. Church. He has sent Philadelphia. Sorry, I'm Philadelphia. Okay. So, oh, no, I think he misclicked. I think he misclicked. This, this was a misclick. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I don't know. It might, it might, it might, might, might not be, but I, I, I've never seen this. But okay. No, he doesn't want to send that at all. Yeah, I think this is a misclick. I think this is a misclick. This you is, want to. This is game ending. The... Oh no, Philadelphia. Poor guy. This no, is... no, it is not a totally useless card. Honestly, it is. It gives you the possibility of turning the three, three villagers, the Coyote yeah. de Bois. But yeah, this is a misclick, and yeah, he's going to delay basically the uh, entire card for, for that. You can see it. Okay, no, actually, he, I think he wants to send that. I f have a feeling that he wants no, to send No, no, I, I can't send the reason. I cannot send the reason. Let's see what... Okay, so, so young this. Marshall is saying in the chat that th this was the blunder he committed in this uh, game. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, a pretty huge blunder. Like sending a, a shipment, like a own shipment. Might give House of the Wind here, but we see like way too few uh, raiders at this point. Like you usually expect more, um, but otherwise, uh, outside outside of that, the build is, looks okay. Oh, no, you don't want to fight this since the middleman deal bonus damage. Yeah, he lost all of the raiders. This is the worst worst possible scenario for Hausa. He lost three, I think. Because, um, yeah, there we go. We got a nice patch on the top here. Yeah, yeah, please avoid, um, like saying spoilers of the game, please. Not, not cool to, to watch yeah, a game, uh, a spoiled game. <laughs> but yeah. All right, so, uh, also got an extra shipment now. And we have also mm. the crossbows being uh, in the field, so he sent military back to back. Uh, now send the meeting house. Meeting house, yeah, that Building was the plan. Uh, right. But since he misclicked, um, I don't like this for house. Honestly, I don't like chasing those uh, minute men because, like, I, I take minute men basically as free units uh, from USA because you, you basically pay uh, almost nothing for them so like chasing all the way to the back of the town center no this is a bad fight for pistol pit i don't like this because the town center is just going to kill all the raiders all of the raiders and eventually uh young marshall is going to adjust because well, he has can, double it, double trickles you can't stop the age up i think from usa anyway we especially with the bank and the meeting house yeah it, um, he, he, he just, he just needs to buy a hundred food and that's it. Mm. He can buy two hundred food in Asia, and then just wait for the trick of coin. Yeah, he's going to do three shots every every raider. So I don't know how I feel about this. If he uses the utilize the market to buy the Asia, that's what he yeah. needs right now. But he needs to do it fast. Yeah, he needs to buy buy food to Asia, right? Yeah, he needs to. Lose the exporter. Um, he's gonna lose the bank, which is gonna be huge for for a pistol pick here. Uh, just say jump, <laughs> just go for an age up and send the the capital card. You, you have to use it uh, when you're FFing with USA. Yeah, 
Even though even though your opponent is right next to you, it, it builds so fast that it's hard to contest. But yeah. And we it's, might be it, seeing GG oh. here. Oh no. Okay. Okay, this is gonna have so. to defend the minute man here. A stack of minute man being sent. How some more OP than USA? Yeah, maybe if USA doesn't have a card, like if he throws a card. Yeah, also Maybe. the economy. We got 13 villagers from USA and um we have 24 on Hausa. Not a, not many. I think we are missing villagers here, aren't we? About a minute 25, to 10. 25, yeah, he's missing some, but yeah, he's not actually producing villagers. He's missing out on villagers for sure. Yeah, it's too focused on on the Russian. army, yeah. Place first in USA to go for, for berries as well, which is nice. But you can't really stop the age up. It's gonna be slower, but uh, it's certain. Like, and, um... like, like it's going to be like four minutes slower, right? <laughs> oh, the note is gonna go down. Oh, yeah, on no. this matchup, I think German uh, German immigrants is the better option. I think the USA can actually fight House H2. It's maybe one of the, the few civilizations that can actually challenge H2 House. But yeah, I think uh, FFing into double block house like Musketeers and Gatling might also work in this house. I was expecting for Sir Young Marshall to do that, but. We got some okay, regulars so now. Oh no, no. Oh, he is up. Okay, I thought he, he sent the, the card. Your game did, didn't do any sound for the age up. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's bugged. We'll oh, he, he actually sent the card. The... Okay. He sent the card and he aged up. Yes. Yeah, but USA gets crates, right? When aging up. So it doesn't matter. He's going to get um, more um, uh, shipments. So. Just build a market and then stabilize. I think Pistol Peach should age up. You cannot uh, stay for that long on H2 as Hausa. Uh, right. In both this scenario. So he should be... Uh, right now he should be uh, focusing on aging up. So if he, if he stays on H2, this might be uh, how he loses this game, I think. Yeah, yeah. Also, if you age up with the meeting house, like if you go for the meeting house age up, uh, build order, you want to go skirm going. You don't want to go for um, musketeers because the meeting house is better for skirm going. Yeah, yeah. This is how you throw the game, I think. Oh no, he's going to get the block house. Okay. Oh, here we are. Oh, this is good. <laughs> I was expecting the block house to go a little bit sooner. Yeah, I think USA is sort of surviving days. Okay, we, he's we have a now. macro for aging, yeah. Yeah, very good for house. So. We're gonna uh, save. Pistol we Pete have, we have... uh, is a house player. We can clearly see that. Oh yeah, he's even using the attack to age up faster. Yes, he actually knows how to play house. Very yeah, we, good to see. We, we, we definitely need the uh, to start hurting now because we do not have any pressure now, and it's still on berries. So yeah. uh, always when you got a little bit of time, you always send a villager away. You can still put your villages on berries, not a problem, but uh, that's the time to hurt this. Yeah. Uh, now we might... Like, Hausa has this game. Even though it's USA, I Ooh, don't boy. think you can really lose this game. As Hausa, what, what, what is that? How there is like 10... Well, he sent oh, five. no, he sent 5 and he used the, the church. The, okay. the church, okay. yeah. That's 10. Yeah. I'm ready. Um... The, the way for Hausa to lose this game is fight here. Like, if he throws the Raiders into that, and panic is, or something like that. Yeah, you should you should avoid this fight. If it does, it's the counter. You yeah, should but it's not definitely enough. avoid this fight at all costs. Like, fighting when aging up doesn't make sense. You, you have to age up, upgrade your units, yeah, avoid this at all costs. I like that he's going for a raise because he wants to put him to go back and that's the right thing to do. Yeah. Now <laughs> he's still on uh, have to... Yeah, he's afraid of uh going outside. <laughs> <laughs> outside the cave. Oh he's going for the for the raise. I think he's gonna get it. He's gonna get at least two here. 
Oh, he's in Yeah, you, you only fight when you age up, uh, while aging up, when, when you're flexing your opponent. Like, you're showing uh, dominance over him, like... You, you you fight him and he, he he thinks oh he's all leaning but then he sees that age up and he knows that he, you've been playing with him the entire game that's why that's when you fight when aging up <laughs> but yeah mm, good I fight don't know for what's and yeah he's not using the archer's range and uh, um, he doesn't have sent to us so audio tactics yet um, but the, the the economy, like, how can Hausa throw this? Yeah, like this. <laughs> they can throw it like this. <laughs> On melee Fulanis, that's how you throw. Like, just use the range of the unit, right? It, no, oh, okay, it's USA. I think well, USA's Musketeer might, might have the same range. No, no, it's... Uh, they have know, because... Uh, yeah, I think they do, no? 14, they have no, 15. no, it's 14, 17. Yeah. 17, okay. Yeah, it, just this, use the range this, of units. This gives you two more, three more range. Let's go 20, then then they, they become normal skarms. Yeah, the USA goons are, are a good unit. Uh, the thing is that they're cheap and cost cost wise, they are the same as a dragoon. But the thing about the USA um, dragoons is that when you send the card, they become better than a dragoon and then they are cheaper, right? So that's the problem with uh, USA's Dragoons, but I think without any card, I think you can take it as a, like, a, like a lower HP Dragoon, but which has the same damage, right? Finally yeah. getting out of berries. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm so happy to see yes. that. Look at that guy, the rate from one from 67 to 1.8. He's like almost yeah, doubling the never... resources. That's like Orders. now he is, has actually has 14 villages before he was on seven villages on food. Yeah, I think this is a unlosable position from you know, Hausa here. You like you have to, yeah, you have to do it like this. Let's just push in a fight. Yeah, this this like I, I cannot imagine Bristol Pete throwing this game. This is so hard to believe that he. Can yeah, actually throw this. Has twice, twice as much resources. Um, what is he sending though? Um, what is that? Selective breeding. Oh, oh he's, he's training the... griots. Like, why is he training griots? A bit too worried, you know. He needs a mask. No, first. I, I don't think you ever train those. I, I, you I, do. I don't you think do. I've ever... If you have falconets, you have to. Or, or oh, some yeah, strong, yeah, yeah. or maybe like some mammy looks, stuff, stuff like that. But. Uh, Maybe it's a bit worried. He doesn't even have an army. Yeah, he doesn't even have an army. Exactly, that's yeah. what that's what I said. He didn't army before, but I actually training griots is not a bad thing. And I I I I actually I am with Bray on this one. I do have the griots upgrade. I do. I, don't, I know you don't like that very much, but I I I think it's a good card. No, I think it's a decent upgrade. Yeah, if you're training them, yeah, it's a decent upgrade. <laughs> Look at how they move. Yeah. Um. Like it has no anti cap here. Just the, the, the 12 Mulan pop could kill this army. Another town center right there. He's just with... chilling. He's just chilling. Just how Okay, the... finally the folio tax has been sent. So now they are proper skirms. We do have uh, 29 full landing round. And um, we do need a little bit more cav and other things. We're sending a, a covering, preemptively thinking that we might be seeing some Gatling guns, which is I don't I don't hate. We're also sending a Royal Hunters. What's that, Nick? Uh, it is the... I, I think it's... Um, Farm? HP for villagers. Oh, for villagers. Oh, okay, Villager okay. HP, yeah. Okay, nice one. That's, that's alright. Okay, we should have our Navy Embassy. We have in the land shipment. Interesting. Also getting the crew, the boys. So making use of the native uh, Embassy after all. Maybe it's a, bit, it's a nice way to come kick back with the villager production that he's so far behind. I actually like this. I like that he's making yeah. use of that. Oh, uh, yeah, the 12 Yulon card it might be the way the young Marshall is going back in this game. Since yeah. Pistol Pete refuses to build and he can I think. No, okay, okay, he's starting to build. No, he has like 10. Okay, the Yulon's clean this. I think the USA yeah. is going to win. Oh, I cannot believe this. I. I Honestly, cannot believe that Piece of Pete is going to lose this game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. No. 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 You cannot lose this game. And he's leaving his base. He needs to be right here. Bad. 
bad pathing. You want to force a bad path for USA. But he's actually... No, he's no, helping no. USA. He needs to micro he really this javelin. This game. Do not micro. Just... Like, just... Do not panic. Just do not do anything. Do, don't do anything. And then us is going to win. Okay. Yeah, the Griot is think... major work with the with the new lands. Yeah, this is unlosable for the pistol pit. I. Oh my god. Oh. It, it's just like Cav melts for Hausa. Hausa can do it. Cav so easy. I think the archers do major damage as well against. Yeah, Cav. you don't. You don't. You don't actually make a heavy cab against house if the house player know what they're doing.